For centuries, we have been persecuted, suspected to be witches, vampires, or disciples of the devil. We were tortured, buried alive, and burned at the stake. And yet we prevailed, all 3% of us. These are our stories. This is what it's like. Growing up red. Growing up, these gingers thought they were your average Canadian kids, until their lives became nightmares. I was called many different names, such as... Firebox. Minger, ginger, ginger minger. A carrot top, standard. Dirty little redhead. That freckle face, of course. French fry with ketchup on top. Look at that dirty ginger. Big red. Hey, Twizzler. Period head. Face. You never really get human being when you have red hair, you know? But we are human beings. Human beings judged by the color of our hair, the pastiness of our skin. What are some typical stereotypes that you've encountered? People always think that redheads have this, this, this temper. Probably the fiery temper, but we are a very mild-mannered people. Everyone assumed I was a nympho. Just that kind of that gets me steamed. I think there's this expectation that we're just these fiery lovers. And it's completely true. Can we just... Yeah. Sorry. Honestly. And who could forget the tragic events of May 16th, 2006? Lindsay Lohan is a fire crutch. <laughs> and she has freckles coming out of her. I felt Lindsay's pain. The fire crutch. How do I live in a world where something like that can be said? The fire crutch. And the world can just keep on spinning. Fire crutch, fire crutch, fire crutch. And are your pubes on fire? No, no, not at this moment or at any time in my life so far. But is this just a cruel joke? <laughs> Or does it go deeper? Does ginger phobia still exist? Look, I'm just saying what everyone else already thinks. Gingers are creepy. And one night, when you're all sleeping in your room, gingers are gonna get you. They're gonna get you! They're just discriminating against redheads. <laughs> it's kind of like racism in a, in a sense. Just like, now we have to find out which white people we hate too. just has to stop. I can't, I don't know if I can finish this. It's nice to talk to someone that understands. Yeah. So how do we cope? For those people who made fun of me, uh, I'm on TV, bitch. Who do we turn to? Danny Bonadici has been a source of strength for me. And how do we get people to stop asking us the age-old question? Does the carpet match the drapes? Perhaps they'll never know. For Growing Up Red, I'm that red-headed chick on MTV. Oh, I had no idea. It's tough. I had no it's idea. Tough. It really is that difficult. It's a tough life. Wow, I had no idea. We're talking about hair.